But I just wonder what it would be like just to kill someone. See the life drain out of someone, I wonder. I'm sorry, but if you're killing someone just to see how it feels to kill someone for fun, you're cooked, you're finished. <laughs> Yo. What's good YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at dangerous kids reacting to life sentences. How are you just in elementary school when you're already getting a life sentence? Have you even tried playing Fortnite? How are you doing this as a kid? If you're watching YouTube, join us on Twitch. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm very tempted to just say I'm not gonna accept this sentence agreement. We'll go to trial and if you're convicted of felony murder, you'll go to prison for the rest of your life. That means you'll die there. Damn! If I was him, I would just collapse on the spot. What do you mean? I'm gonna die there. Uh, he's taking it way too better than me. Hell no. That's what I'm tempted to do. It's I'm not gonna lie, I would race too. I know what he saw. He probably saw a vision of him taking three big Johnsons and he was like, I can't do this. You knew not to keep pounding your fist on that pillow with that little baby's head there. That little boy had to be terrified. You have beef with a baby? What do you mean you're acting like Incredible Hulk on a baby? What beef do you have with a baby? What? That man got two-year-old ops. I didn't mean to kill Austin. I really didn't. Did you really think I did that? I didn't mean to hurt him. 14-year-old Philip Chisholm. What did he do? Pure evil, and evil can never be rehabilitated. Mm. He must imprison this killer for the rest of his life. Yo, 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 the victim's parents are cooking him, and I'm here for it. And evil can never be rehabilitated. You must imprison this killer for the rest of his life. A ninth grader who's in court for murdering his 24-year-old school math teacher. Yo, 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 this is not funny. Look, I know math gets harder. I know we start getting PEMDAS, we start getting letters into the equation, but that's no reason to murder your math teacher, bro. Did she give you a pop quiz and you just crashed out? Bro, chill. R.I.P. her, man. Colleen Ritzer, on October 22nd, 2013. Colleen was known for her dedication to her students, and on that fateful day, she had asked Chisholm to stay after school for additional lessons. Okay. Little did she know that her kindness would lead to a horrific end. Chisholm- You telling me your teacher wants to help your dumb ass out and you want to kill her? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. If my teacher told me to stay for a couple additional minutes, I'm gonna assume she wants something to- Okay, right now is not the time for it. All right, Pierre, man, but yo, she's actually dumb as hell. Chisholm came prepared with a knife, a change of a clothes, knife? and gloves. He followed her into a restroom. You are not OJ, buddy. Where he took her life. His brutality didn't stop there. He robbed, assaulted, and abused her. Afterward, he disposed okay. of her lifeless body by placing it in a garbage bin and dragging it behind the school. In a Do you not know how much security cameras the school has? They probably have school cameras everywhere. I'm pretty sure there's school cameras right below the men's bathroom. Like just looking at your butt. What makes you think they're not gonna catch you in the act, buddy? Futile attempt to cover up his crimes. Chisholm went into town and used Richard's credit card to buy a movie ticket. However, he was traced down and arrested by the police. The Let me get this straight. You could have done anything with the money. And the first thing you did was decide to watch a movie. Unless the movie was like Barbie. I'm not here for it, buddy. Get a refund. The next morning, he still had Colleen's blood on his hands. Damn. While the magnitude of Chisholm's crimes is daunting, his courtroom behavior will leave you in disbelief. Philip Chisholm faced multiple charges, including multiple? murder, aggravated rape, and armed robbery throughout the court proceedings. He is a ninth grader. How are you doing this? Chisholm displayed a shocking lack of remorse. Okay, hold on. Did an anime time skip come up? Because why does he look like a grown ass man here? Even as the victim's father read his statement. Killer knew exactly what he was doing and has never shown remorse. His demeanor and actions demonstrated a complete. When your parents say that about you, you know you're a bad kid. Disregard for the gravity of his crimes and the immeasurable pain he had inflicted on Colleen Ritzer's family. Even in the face of a touching tribute by Colleen's brother. Put this animal behind bars to the maximum possible sentence. Mm. Do not give this coward the opportunity to shatter another family's lives. Mm. Chisholm remained cold and unrepentant. His attorneys claimed that he was mentally unstable. No, 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 he's definitely a bit more than mentally unstable. You being mad at your math teacher, that's one thing. You murdering her? Dude, <laughs> you, no, you're gone off the deep end. That didn't work. In February 2016, court will impose the mandatory life sentence for the murder of Colleen Ritzer Damn. and set a parole eligibility date of 25 years, the highest level our law allows. However, Damn. while Chisholm's reaction could certainly be dismissed as an effect of a mental illness, 
The same can't be said. Reaction could certainly be dismissed. I don't know what's worse, that life sentence that he just got or looking at this man's hairline. Like, they gotta be equivalent. He should have definitely probably got more than that. An effect of a mental illness. The same can't be said for the case of 19. This is a way much more realistic reaction to getting a life sentence. Brody, if I ever got a life sentence, y'all will see me make the ugliest crying face ever. Granted, I'm glad that's what they're getting, but damn. I mean, the haircut clean though. 18 year old Brandon Spencer who allegedly started shooting at a crowded Halloween party on the campus of the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. Did someone put a Twizzlers in your basket? Did someone give you black licorice? Why are you mad on Halloween? Sorry for what happened here on your butt. you like in prison? Four individuals were injured in the shooting, but fortunately, there were no fatalities. Mm. That if you are so intent on killing someone that you're willing to shoot them yeah. and at the same time open fire into a crowd. Following this is not Call of Duty, buddy. You're not trying to get a squad wipeout, all right? You don't get extra bonuses. This is real life. The shooting, Spencer was detained by the Los Angeles Police Department for questioning. Mm. A couple of days later, he was charged with four counts of attempted murder. Damn. The prosecution argued during the trial that the shooting was the result of an ongoing feud between Spencer and a rival gang member. Okay, yeah, a rival gang member. Yeah, let me just empty everyone. Buddy, there are civilians in there. Stop. Noting that Spencer himself was a documented and well-known gang member. I'm not a bad person, but I made mistakes. <sighs> okay, no, no, no. Making a mistake. There's pencil mistakes, right? There's writing mistakes. There's grammar mistakes. Shooting at a crowd is not a mistake, all right? I'm not just some gangbanger that she tried to betray me as. Despite the horrifying nature of Spencer's offenses, his actions during the trial managed to shock done. everyone present. Throughout the trial, Spencer maintained his innocence jury disagreed. Spencer also pleaded his case. The judge sentenced Brandon Spencer to what? 40 years to life in prison. Oh, buddy, when he comes out, his hair follicles are gone. This is the last clean haircut he's ever going to get. You're going to get the Andrew Tate special when you're gone, buddy. For the four counts of attempted murder, when Spencer heard his sentence, this was his reaction. <laughs> However, hey, that's realistic as hell, bro. Because guess what? There ain't no more buns for you in prison. You ain't getting no thick Latina. You're gonna start using your hands. And if not your hands, you're gonna use a man named Jermaine in there, bro. While Spencer's behavior raised eyebrows, it's nothing compared to the explosive actions of 15-year-old Conrad Schaefer during Con the trial. This was a he just looks like a murderer. A 15-year-old? 15? 15-year-old who was out semi-automatic rifle shooting up. Schaefer shocked Osceola County when he and his friends began randomly shooting at the residents, resulting in the tragic death of 17-year-old David Guerrero. Damn. Was on his way to work. R.I.P. Before the shootings, Schaefer had persuaded his father to purchase a 45 caliber high point. Look, I persuade my father to buy me GameStop games. Please buy me the new GTA. Please buy me FIFA. Never have I once asked, yeah, buy me a semi-automatic rifle. Who is this man's parents? Carbine and 100 rounds of ammunition. He allegedly took the gun from his house while his father was asleep, marking the beginning of the neighborhood's okay. nightmare. Conrad Schaefer and three of his friends, David Damas, Victoria Rios, and Juan Muriel. This gotta be the most randomized GTA heist friendship known to mankind. I would never assume these four know each other. Terrorized the community for two weeks. They even invaded 22-year-old Eric Rupnarin's home. Damn. And fatally shot him. During his trial, Schaefer had this to say to the families of the victims. What? 15 at the time, I'm really sorry for the things I've done. And I know I did wrong, and I know my apology don't mean nothing to you. And I know it ain't gonna change how you feel about me. Bro, think he Eminem, shut up. Families of Eric Rupnarin also seem to agree. Eric was my grandson. He was my helper to me and my wife. At this time, my family and I had no intention to forgive the guilty because of such a heinous and brutal crime that was done to my grandson. You gotta have a lot of heart to forgive someone. If it was me, oh buddy, I would never forgive you. You're done. Yeah, go to jail, buddy. Electric chair. Schaefer eventually pleaded guilty to two counts of first degree murder with over 22 incidents of gunfire damaging homes and vehicles. Damn. He was sentenced to two consecutive life sentences. Damn. With the judge stating that- Look how big his neck is. Oh, hell no. Nah. You know damn well he couldn't swallow that. Two consecutive life sentences. With the judge stating that if Schaefer had been just three years older, he would have received the death penalty. Oh, that's tough. However, Conrad Schaefer isn't alone in their courtroom actions. Let's not forget the infamous incident involving 15-year-old Martise Fuller, who's facing charges including murder in Kenosha okay. County, Wisconsin. Damn. I stopped in my doorway, and I looked at him, and I said, oh my God, Martise. I said, please, you don't have to do this. 
And he looked at me and he said, yes, I do. What did, he, broke what did you do? Into his ex-girlfriend's house with a handgun. He fatally shot his ex-girlfriend in her bedroom while she was listening to music. You are a freshman. You are a freshman high schooler. What can your ex-girlfriend do to warrant you murdering her? Dude, you are in a fake relationship. Let's be real, high school relationships are the dumbest thing ever. You guys just like how each other look and you want to date off of that. Why would you murder her? Her mother, who rushed to the scene upon hearing the gunshots, confronted the assailant and was shot twice, but survived. During the trial, yeah. he showed little emotion. Fuller pleaded not guilty, but the jury ultimately found him guilty on three counts. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of first-degree intentional homicide. At his sentencing, Fuller, perhaps for the first time in the courtroom, displayed some emotion. Yeah, no, 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 he's just sad that he's serving jail time. Like, he's not sad that he murdered her. However, he continued to assert his innocence and delivered a statement through his attorney, expressing his apologies to the family. Mr. Fuller's prepared a statement that he asked that I read on his behalf. Martise writes, wholeheartedly, I wanted to write this giving my sincerest apology. Oh yeah, we know he can't write. Yeah, this is Chad GPT. To this family I once shared time and love with. Truthfully, I am sorry about the pain you've all suffered through this, but more importantly, the loss of my ex-girlfriend Kaylee that I loved too. So I am sorry. Despite the hatred that is against me, I still am sorry. But I have to continue to stand innocent because I am. And I You're not innocent. Wow, what are you lying about? Who else has beef with your ex-girlfriend? The mother literally saw you doing this too. Know that I've barely showed emotion throughout my time, but in all honesty, it is because it's hard to have tears left to cry knowing my mom lost a son, one of her children too. But I am sorry. And I hope you all can eventually cat, see cat, in your hearts cat. and vision that I am not the person the media has made me out to be. Cat. The judge, however, wasn't convinced that Fuller could do better in the future. You are a very dangerous and a damaged human being. So in the interest of protecting the public, acknowledging the seriousness of these acts, the court orders that on count one, you are sentenced to life w. in prison without eligibility for extended supervision. Look, he even knew it. No emotion. He knew he was done. Despite the gravity of his sentence, Fuller appeared largely unaffected. However, as we saw Fuller's unconcern with his sentence, it brings to mind the strikingly similar response of Jennifer Mee. Look at her lawyer, she knows she's cooked. Bruh, if my lawyer was built like Drewski, I would cry too. You know, Damo, the only thing this man is worried about is his next McDonald's meal, bruh. I walked off, I was to the corner, I heard the first gunshot after the first gunshot, and I ran. At 15, Jennifer Mee became popular as the Hiccup Girl due to her sudden bout of uncontrollable hiccups. She even appeared on shows and events. Eventually, she was cured and her popularity ended. But Jennifer wasn't satisfied. She needed a new way to be famous, so she emptied a clip on someone. That's crazy. How you go from the hiccup girl in innocent saying to being a murderer? That's a crazy jump. Needed the fame. <clears throat> so she and her boyfriend, Lamont Newton, and another friend, Lauren Rayford, set up a robbery with victims she had met online. The trio lured a two year old man to a vacant home where they robbed and fatally shot him. Damn. $50 as the reward. I wonder if she did a hiccup like in between any of that. If Jennifer's offenses weren't enough, her demeanor in court will leave you dumbfounded. What's she 19 do? years old, she was arrested on charges of first degree murder. Damn. During her trial, this recorded call she made to her mother while in detention was played for the jury. Hello. Hi, Mama. Hello, Jennifer. What's going on? I'm in jail. Why are you in jail? Who'd you kill? Imagine being a parent, a mother, and you're hearing your child say this. It's kind of like her mom already knew that. Like, oh, who'd you kill this time? Like, I would have been like, hey, what? Who are you trying to kill, Jennifer? Nobody. It wasn't even that bad. Who are you trying to kill, Jennifer? Jennifer was sentenced to life imprisonment without GGs. the possibility of parole. Jennifer's co-defendants, Rayford and Newton, were also sentenced to life imprisonment for their roles in the murder. However, when emotions run high in court, the actions of Jennifer Mee and Alyssa Bustamante leave us questioning sanity itself. What did she do? It was her throat cut. And Alyssa said yes. And that's when grandmother, uh, the grandmother broke down. Okay, okay, we're throat cutting now? Is that what we're doing? Are we giving out mortal combat fatalities? What are we doing? 
and began crying. Alyssa Bustamante was a troubled 15-year-old girl. She a troubled emo. Lived with her grandparents and siblings in St. Martins, Missouri. On October 21, 2009, Bustamante lured her nine-year-old neighbor, Elizabeth Olton, into You have a beef with a nine-year-old? The woods behind her house. She strangled, stabbed, and slit the throat of the innocent girl, then buried her in a pre-dug grave. I just wonder what it would be like just to kill someone. See the life drain out of someone, I wonder. She then went- I'm sorry, but if you're killing someone just to see how it feels to kill someone for fun, you're killing people for fun? If this is what your friend is saying, you're cooked, you're finished. No, you don't deserve to live no more. Matter of fact, electric chair, bro. Into a church dance as if nothing had happened. If you thought Bustamante's crimes were reprehensible, brace yourself for her shocking conduct during the proceedings. The police found Olton's body two days later after Bustamante confessed to the murder. She was Damn. arrested and charged with first-degree murder and armed criminal Damn. action. She pleaded guilty to a reduced charge of second-degree murder. Now you're just going to feel how it feels to be in prison for the rest of your life. Murder in exchange for avoiding a trial and a possible life sentence without parole. At her sentencing hearing, Bustamante apologized to Olson's family and said she regretted her actions. However, the judge was not moved by her remorse and sentenced her to life in prison. Damn. The possibility of parole after 35 years. She will be eligible for release in 2054 when she will be 60 years old. However, 60 years old, bro. Bro, I'm sorry. At that point, you're not even going to be walking properly. However, let's compare the jaw-dropping reaction of Bustamante to the astonishing behavior of 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz. My name is Nick, and I'm going to be the next school shooter of 2018. My goal is at least 20 people. Why are you saying that like you want to be like the next American Idol? I want to be the next greatest soccer player, but instead you want to be a shooter. That's not what we meant when we said shooting, all right? We meant shooting soccer balls. Either way, bro, the fact that this man had a goal to end people, this man recorded it. He, he had a plan. An AR-15 and a couple trace rounds. A gunman who carried out the deadliest high school shooting in U.S. history. Cruz killed 17 people and wounded 17 others at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Park. R.I.P. All those victims, bro. That's crazy. In Florida, on February 14th, 2018. Oh my God. Oh my God. He used a semi-automatic rifle that he had legally purchased a year earlier. I came out and asked him, "What are you going to do with the rifle?" And the reply was. I go shooting with my friends on the weekends. I just want my own stuff. Despite the horrifying That's nature crazy. of Cruz's offenses, his actions during sentencing managed to shock everyone present. He should have got the death sentence, I'll be real. Cruz was arrested and charged with 17 counts of premeditated first degree murder and 17 counts of attempted first degree murder. He pleaded guilty to all the charges, admitting his responsibility for the massacre. I'm sorry, if I'm a police officer, I'm not arresting this guy in one piece. I'm gonna be like, oh, he has a gun, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't know how they do it. What's going on today, bro? The, the, the demons, man. Demons? Voices. Voices and demons? Where's the voices? Where the f am I? Holy sh He's lying. Look at him. He's trying to make it seem that he's going crazy. Like, are y'all that dumb? How are you even talking to a kid like this after he just shot up a school, a high school, with kids in it? What happened? Shut up. The jury could not reach a unanimous verdict on whether to recommend the death penalty for Cruz. As a result, he was automatically sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for each of the 17 murders, as required by Florida law. He was also sentenced to an additional 34 life sentences for the- Who is he, the Avatar? Who? How was he gonna survive 34 life sentences? He's done. The attempted murders. At his sentencing, Cruz attempted an apology. I am very sorry for what I did, and I have to live with it every day. And that if I were to get a second chance, I would do everything in my power to try to help others. And I am doing this for you, and I do not care if you do not. No one is going to give you a second chance. Believe me, and I love you. We don't. I know you don't believe me. Yes, we don't believe you. Every day. Live Cruz with you. showed no remorse or empathy for his actions, and instead wore a red prison jumpsuit glasses, and a mask. He even laughed at one point during the proceedings. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Whoever these attorneys are, bro, fire them too. I'm sorry. I'm not even laughing with someone that killed that much people. And you know it too. Cruz's lack of emotion and his escape from the death penalty outraged and disappointed many of the victim's relatives who had hoped for a different outcome. However, while it was clear that Cruz didn't care about the years he was going to spend in jail, his behavior in court was very different. 
to that of 19-year-old Keandra Cook in jail. His behavior in court was very different to that of 19. Look at look, this is probably the ugliest reaction ever. Like, bro, I'm sorry, I don't even think I can make him a face this ugly. Year old Keandra Cook, a high school student who used a dating app to set up a robbery scheme with her boyfriend. Kendrick Bass. A Cook dating Lord app? Perry Nida. You're telling me some people are on Tinder trying to get a smash in and you killed them? A Palm Coast man to a secluded spot in South Daytona, where Bass and others attacked him and his friend, Emmanuel Purcell, who had accompanied him. Bass shot Purcell in the chest. Ugh. Luckily, he survived. However, what Damn. Cook did in the courtroom was even crazier. Cook was arrested and charged. Oh, her name Cook. Was well, she about to get cooked? Charged with principal to carjacking with a deadly weapon and principal to aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Of all three charges, sentence you to 20 years in state prison. <laughs> They should have been worse. She's like she's not serving longer than that. <laughs> Ugly ass cry. <laughs> Cook was later allowed to withdraw her plea and cooperate with the state to testify against Bass, who was also charged with attempted murder. She entered a new plea deal and received a reduced sentence of 11 years in prison and 20 years of Damn. probation. Damn. She apologized to the victims and their families. I just want to say that I'm sorry to the mom that her son and his son that I didn't even do this. Um, my boyfriend and his friends get trained to do this. However, this wasn't the only time a convict freaked out during their sentencing. Take, for example, the case of 18-year-old Donta Wright, what did he a teenager do? who was involved in the murder of Jordan Clee, Damn, a high school student and athlete in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Wright and two other youths planned to rob Clee of his drugs, clothes, and shoes. Damn. Clee fought back. Wright then shot him in the back of the head, killing Damn. him instantly. Just when you thought Wright couldn't- He too wanted pumped him and why is he smiling? Sink any lower. His behavior in the courtroom will leave you stunned. Wright was arrested and charged with felony murder, mm. armed robbery, mm. conspiracy to commit armed robbery, mm. felony firearm possession. The family of the victim read a very emotional victim impact statement. What happened? But this is how serious Wright felt about their pain. Sincerely hope that whatever it was you wanted so badly that you felt the need to murder my son was worth the next at least 52 years of your continued existence. You won't get to he does not care. Look at him. He's trying to do a light skinned face. Raising your child because you took mine away. When he was called to address the court, Wright shocked everyone. I'm going to tell y'all I'll be home soon or I'll be Keon. I love my family. What makes you so confident, buddy? No, I'm sorry. This is not the NBA ESPN announcement. You can't just announce what team you're going to go to. Go to jail. You can't just be like, I'm going to get out. No, bro. This is not an Instagram post. You're going to jail for life. That's all you got to say. Wright showed no remorse or empathy for his actions. His attitude in court shocked and angered the judge and the victim's family. The judge reserved some choice words for him. I'm very tempted to just say, I'm not going to accept this sentence agreement. We'll go to trial. And if you're convicted of felony murder, you'll go to prison for the rest of your life. That means you'll die there. That's what I'm tempted to do. Wright was eventually sentenced to 25 to 52 years in prison for his Damn. role in the murder. Look at his face after realizing that his ass not getting out anytime soon. Damn, that's tough. But anyways, YouTube, that does include dangerous kids reacting to life sentences. Hey, if you're a teen, don't commit any violence unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars. If you want us on Discord, cast all to make sure you subscribe. All that good stuff, man. Boxer for life. Love y'all.